Ya Bani Adam, khudu zinatakum inda kulli masjidin. Take your beauty seriously, take your clothing seriously, beautify yourselves, dress up, come decked out at every time of prayer and every place of prayer. Beautify yourselves when you talk to me. Dress nicely when you pray. Don't wake up for fajr in your pajamas and make fajr in your pajamas. Dress nicely before Allah. If you have a meeting with the, with the CEO of a company, you dress up. If you have a meeting with the Dean of Academics, you dress up. If you have an interview at immigration, you dress up. You have an interview with Allah, you don't dress up. Dress nicely, beautify yourselves. You know why this is important? Because when you engage in the act of ironing your clothes, because you're making salat, when you engage in the act of picking the right kind of colors, and dressing nicely, putting yourself together. When do people dress nicely? When they go to a party, right? Why? Because other people are gonna look at them. Because they're gonna be in pictures. Isn't that true? If nobody was gonna look at you, why would you dress nicely? Other people are gonna look at you, so you dress nicely. You're going out like your, da your dad says, you're going out like that? You know, I have a student from last year, his dad made him iron his t-shirts. <laughs> so I'm wearing a shirt over it, that doesn't matter, iron your t-shirt. <laughs> you're not going out like that. Right? It's not my dad, I promise. Okay, so, but, but the idea, when you dress up, you're conscious of the one who's gonna be looking at you. If you dress up before you make salat, it will automatically make you conscious that, that what? What am I trying to say? That Allah is looking at you, it will give you khushu' in salat. Just dressing up to pray, will give you khushu' in salat. Allah has given us one of the secrets of khushu'. People say, how do I get khushu in salat? How do I pay attention in salat? How do I recognize Allah's presence? Now Allah says, dress up, come prepared. Act like you. this is something important you just came to and you will give it full attention, subhanAllah. And so the first one we should think about beautifying ourselves to is Allah. And if you can beautify yourself to Allah, then you know that that's the kind of clothing you should be wearing everywhere else. That's the other beauty of this. Because you're not going to dress scandalous and go pray to Allah. You're not. There's something that goes on in you. Even, even girls that don't observe hijab or don't dress, you, they know they're dressed a little too, you know, inappropriately. Even they, when they're coming into the masjid, something in their head happens and they say, okay, give me your hijab, let me borrow your hijab. Okay, let me change my shirt. Or let me put a, let me put a, a hoodie on. Or let me put a longer shirt on. Something goes on in their head too. Something goes on there, because they know they're about to go talk to Allah. Allah says, oh, by the way, how many times do you have to pray? Five times. Which means if you're dressed up every time, that means in between those prayers, you're not gonna, okay, now that I'm done dressing up for Allah, now let me go dress all scandalous, because it's time to go out in the world, and show the world, you know, I've been working out. Uh, no. That's how you're gonna be dressed. That's how you're gonna be dressed. You look beautiful to Allah, and your dress code will be fine. Your dress code will be resolved. You don't have to get into the halal haram debate. If your conscience can tell you that I'm standing in front of Allah in these clothes, and Allah said, beautify yourself. So dress nicely. خُذُوا زِينَتَكُمْ عِنْدَ كُلِّ مَسْجِدٍ زِينَتَكُمْ You know, part of our zina is of course making wudu, washing up. 